All right, guys, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Phil DeRue, head strength and conditioning coach of American Top Team. Today, I'm gonna give you some simple and effective exercises to help improve your kyphotic posture, especially with the athletes that I work with from the likes of Junior Dos Santos, Edson Barbosa, Dustin Poirier, Ioana Janjacek, all these top elite level fighters are fixed in a position where they, they have that kyphotic drawn in posture. So what we wanna do is we wanna enhance that ability to stay upright so that one, we can reduce the risk of injury and also we can enhance that force production going further into their strikes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you some base exercises that I like to utilize to help increase that overall mobility in the thoracic spine and help scapula strength and stability and overall range of motion. Let's do it. All right guys, so for the first exercise, we want to make sure that we're increasing the active range control in the entire shoulder itself because we want to move the shoulder like a true shoulder. So we're going to use a form of FRC or functional range conditioning called controlled articular rotations. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to gain the mechanoreceptors, we're trying to activate those mechanoreceptors in all ranges of the shoulder capsule so that we can explore those ranges and be strong there but also drive synovial fluid into the working joint itself. Then we can go ahead and enhance the capabilities to increase that thoracic extension and overall you know, reduce that kyphotic posture. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we are irradiating our entire body. So we're tightening up our body so that we don't compensate through the trunk, all right, through the hips or anything like that. Another thing that you wanna be mindful of is make sure that when you go into that rotation, you're not bending or rotating and you're not bending your elbow too as well. So you want a nice rigid arm here, stay nice and straight and then we're gonna work through the entire range. So I'm gonna take my opposite fist, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna clinch my fist, lock everything down, create that posture there. So I'm crushing my armpit here to activate my lats, to stay into that neutral spine position, to not break into that TL junction. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hand, we're gonna spread my fingers out wide, and then my thumb is gonna be facing up. I'm gonna keep that neutral spine, then from there I'm gonna go ahead and flex the shoulder up, drive up into the end range. Once I get into the end range, then I'm gonna go ahead and actively inter internally rotate my shoulder, turning my hand out, getting a big circle around. As I come down, I'm actually driving into that retraction, and then I'm rotating still into that internal rotation of the shoulder, and then I'm gonna depress my shoulder down, driving my fingertips into the ground. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse the process, bringing it up, getting into that end range, and then rotating back out into external rotation, getting all the way up, reaching up to the ceiling, shrugging my shoulder up, and then reaching forward into protraction without rotation here. Again, we'll do it again. Shake it out, come up, all the way up into flexion. Brace the core, make sure you're not breaking. And rotate all the way around. Drive that shoulder blade down, back around, squeezing the scap, coming up into that rotation, big circle, and then bringing it around. All right, this can be done every morning. We call it the morning routine. Do this one to two sets through, nothing crazy, but again, it's going to enhance the capabilities of you moving. It's gonna just wake up the joints in general so that now you can train to open up, you know, that thoracic, that, that kyphotic posture, that caved in posture that a lot of the fighters have due to overuse. So for the next exercise, we're gonna go ahead and do a T-spine spinal segmentation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bias out my lumbar. So what I have to do is lean down, drive my butt to my heels, lock down my core so that I'm not getting into extension here in my lumbar. I'm driving this down, keeping tightness in my abs. I'm gonna place my hands right in front of my, uh, my knees here. Then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and create that neutral spine. I'm gonna lock down my C-spine here, making sure that everything is stacked first. Then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna retract my shoulder blades as much as I can without getting into lumbar extension. I'm gonna rat, go ahead and, and again retract and then we're gonna protract. So we're driving through with the serratus and I'm pulling back, making sure again that I'm not opening up there in the TL junction. I'm keeping that, I'm eliminating that open scissor. So I wanna drive my rib cage down there. So here and pull through. Again, I'm biasing out the lumbar, making sure that I'm not getting into that open scissor or extension there in the lumbar and driving through. Now, a lot of the guys with limited range of motion in the T-spine, it's gonna be very hard for them to get into this position. So again, you're gonna need something like a tactile cue. So you can use a band here to help with that. And from there, 
basically you would come here and they would have to push against the band there. So a little bit more simpler to get that mechanical feedback to make sure they drive into the band. All right, on to the next exercise. All right guys, so for the next exercise, we're gonna go ahead and use a mini band and we're gonna do a band pull apart in supination and pronation. Again, we're just trying to make sure that we're activating the muscles there that sit into that postural alignment. So for this, I wanna make sure that I'm getting full rotation of the shoulder. Now, if the athlete does not have the ability to understand or have pretty much a neurological inhibition to retract and protract, just sit them, try to sit them into that retraction and then do the band pull apart because the goal really is to make sure that we are increasing the strength there in the back, in the posterior muscles to enhance that posture. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the band, right? The more advanced version, I would start into protraction, making sure that I'm not rounding in the lumbar spine again. So I'm here, I'm locked in, protraction, then retraction and pull apart. Protraction, retraction, pull apart. Now, if they can't understand that, right, they don't have the coordination just yet, then all you have to do is sit them into that retraction by taking your fingers and putting them right in between their shoulder blades and having, having them pinch your fingers together. That usually helps when you're talking about retraction and sitting them in the right position. So you start in a retraction state and then just pull apart from there. Also, you want to make sure that you're cueing them to keep the shoulder blades down, all right? If you're an athlete that are try to, trying to understand that, make sure that you're trying to basically act like you're trying to bring your shoulder blades into your back pocket. So I'm going to pull them down and sit them there and activate your lats there to help with that retraction and depression. All right, so the second one in a supinated position. I like supinated because this is the natural anatomical position that you're going to be in. A lot of times when you do have that kyphotic posture, a lot of guys... They're gonna be internally torqued. They're gonna to be rotated in. They're gonna have that kyphotic inward posture. So we wanna make sure that we're gaining that external torque and opening up the body, working on that posterior chain. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn here with my pinkies facing up. And then again, I'm gonna sit into that retraction, right? This time I'm not gonna go into protraction. I'm actually gonna sit them in a retraction and then drive their shoulder blades down and pull it to the sternum. So they're pulling to the sternum and then back out. All right, so for the next exercise, we're actually going to load that articular rotation and we're going to do something called a prone swimmer. And I'm going to use two and a half pound plates in each hand. I'm going to go ahead and lay face down and then from there I'm going to go through that rotation of the shoulder. And I'm also going to make sure that I'm activating the muscles there that sit the scap in the right position to help with postural alignment. So here we go. So arms straight out, thumbs are going to be up. All right, from here, I'm gonna lock my chin down, creating a double chin. So I'm locking the C-spine down, stacking my entire spine. I'm gonna squeeze my glute so that I don't get into that lumbar extension again, right? So I'm gonna drive my glutes in. From here, locking in, coming up into position. Then from there, I'm gonna rotate all the way around, bend the elbows, and back around. Nice and slow and controlled. Making sure I'm getting full range of motion. Try not to touch the floor or your body as you come through. I'm also making sure that I'm not rounding my shoulders forward when I go into that internal rotation. I'm driving my shoulders back and back around. Now, there's another version that you can do. It's called a YWT. With that, you're just gonna go into several different base positions and then hold that position. So first one we're gonna do is a Y position. So you're coming up. Hold for about two to three seconds. Squeeze to a W like you're doing a lat pull down. Make sure that you're not extending too much. Keeping it down. And then you're gonna go into the T position. Hold it out and squeeze the shoulder blades together. From there, you're gonna go right back up to the Y position. Locking your elbows out. W, T. Y, W, T. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's a series of exercises that you can utilize to help increase your posture, increase that ability to maintain that stability in the thoracic spine, but also, again, just be more functional with your movement, and especially when you're, you have that kyphotic posture due to that overtraining or that training in that specific range of motion. So for that, I usually like to do the controlled articular rotations every morning. That's a morning routine that you can go through, very simple to do. I would do two sets through on those rotations and make sure that you're doing them as efficiently as possible and make sure that you're not compensating throughout the spine. So you want to disassociate the shoulder from everywhere else. 
All right. And as far as the uh, the segmentation goes, that's something that I throw into the correctives in between or in the beginning of the workout. So in between sets, if they're doing some type of bench press or some type of floor press variation, I'll throw that in for a corrective just to kill some time, but also to you know make our time efficient so that we can get as much out of that training session. And then with the band pull aparts, I make sure that my athletes do at least 100 repetitions, supinated and pronated every training session to help improve on that strength and that posture in the posterior chain. And then the last one that we did was the YWTs and the prone swimmers. Again, that's something that we do as a corrective in the warm up sequencing. When I go ahead and I get the muscles activated and get the mobility that we need to help enhance the quality of the training session. And then also you can put it in as a filler in between your sets to help with again, time efficiency. All right, thanks again for watching.